Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Wrapped around in this anti-static bag like some kind of rare candy hides the latest Intel's PCI Express based SSD from their 750 series. This new series is based on the Intel's 18 channel NVMe capable controller, which can also be seen in the Intel's enterprise grade DCP3700 SSD series. This particular model in our hands comes in with a 1.2 terabytes of capacity, and beside it, Intel is offering a 400 gigabyte model, and that's it, with nothing in between, which is kinda odd to be honest. Also, as you may notice by looking at this product page, beside the PCI Express model, 750 series comes in a 2.5 inch SFFF form factor, for which you'll have to use a special kind of connector, the SFF8639, which looks a lot like a SAS port, and which you can get on some Asus motherboards as an M.2 HyperKit add-in card, or you can get a PCI Express adapter bracket like this one to put the SSD into. The design of the 750 series is a pretty common one for a PCI Express based SSD, looks like some kind of sound or dedicated RAID card, pretty small in size, ready to be tucked in into a PCI Express X4 slot for downright bonkers performance, as you will see later on. The PCB is dominated by this big aluminum heatsink, which cools off the NAND flash chips, but most of all the Intel's SSD controller itself, which has its own heatsink within it, as you can see it here. On the bottom of the SSD we have an aluminium backplate which, once you pull it off, reveals more Intel slash Micron's 9 flash chips. Down there you can also see the rough position of the controller, as well as the two smaller Micron chips, probably for cache. Front is covered with a honeycomb meshed plate, through which you can see LED activity lights right after you install the drive and put it into work. Speaking of the installation, for the 750 series drive to work properly, you'll need to install a suitable inter-provided NVMe driver, which you can find on their website. After that, you're pretty much good to go. Taking a drive for a spin, right away we are seeing some staggering numbers across the board. Handling compressed data in benchmarks like Crystal Disk Mark and SSD, we are outputting figures well above 1 GB per second, as you can see it from screenshots. While dealing with uncompressed data in A to Disk Benchmark, we got an almost unreal number of just a bit below 2.7 GB per second for data reading speed. Taking a look at the IOPS figures, ones from the SSSD benchmark already confirmed their high trend for this model. While looking at the numbers in IOMeter software, a few different testing scenarios showed us hundreds of thousands of reasons why is this drive one of the best that we've seen yet, at least when it comes to consumer level products. Thank you once again guys for checking out our review of the Intel 750 series SSD. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you liked this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product, and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.